May. Is it May? Yes, it's May. <laughs> okay. Hello friends and strangers on the internet, I am Jen from Good Jeans Resale. I'm a part-time Poshmark reseller and I do Poshmark with my mom, hence our closet name being Good Jeans Resale. I'm setting a goal for myself this month, which is May. I, even though I am trying to become a real full-time reseller, I'm not going thrifting this month. I'm also not sourcing online this month. And I'm going to talk to you about what I'm doing instead this month to hopefully keep my business's profits rising. I am not a reseller that likes to keep a death pile. I typically come home from sourcing on Fridays. That's when I like to source because that's usually when the color of the week 50% off tag at my Goodwill changes. I come home, I log my inventory into my cost of goods spreadsheet, and then the following Monday, I like to do my photographing and listing for the next week to two weeks. And I wouldn't say that I have a huge death pile right now, but I also have a huge death pile right now. I filmed a couple of hauls. Those will be coming out in a few, in a few weeks. My sister-in-law cleaned out her closet and she gave me a huge amount of inventory. It is everything from clothing to shoes to purses to collectible Barbie dolls, things that I've never sold before, things that I'm toying with the idea of either putting them up on eBay or trying to sell them on Facebook Marketplace at a deep discount to just offload the inventory, clear the space. Maybe a reseller that works more in the collectible space will make a deal with me. I also just moved into a new home. This is my new office. I love my new office. It is a disaster. I have not been able to unpack most of my inventory. It's still in U-Haul boxes because I have nowhere to put it. What I currently have in this office are the clothing racks you see behind you, a closet in that corner, and that's it. So goal number one for this month is to unpack and organize my inventory. Shooting off of that, these kind of are all closely linked together. I also need to clear some stuff out of my own closet. I did a bit of this before I moved, but I also didn't want to move a bunch of stuff as inventory that I didn't think would really sell. So I did donate a bunch or I had a friend who was pregnant. I gave her a lot of my old maternity stuff when usually I throw that stuff up on the rationale that it'll sell eventually. I didn't want to move it and hold on to it forever. Uh, we only had so much space on the truck to get things up here to Georgia. So I did bring some things with me that I think I'm going to go back through and list. I have a few kids things that I'm going to go through and put on Poshmark. What I'm saying is I think I have enough this month to keep the algorithm happy. I have a lot of hauls already filmed for you guys, but I'm not thrifting. I think I said I'm not thrifting in May. That's not exactly true. I am not thrifting. I last thrifted on Friday, which was April 26th. I'm not thrifting until the end of the month, which is Memorial Day weekend. I'm making one exception because I'm going to Florida for a friend's baby shower, and I am gonna go to my favorite thrift store down there. They do a Friday happy hour sale um, where they have like four different color tags that are 50% off and that starts at 4 p.m. I usually, I think I did this one time because I was a stay at home mom so I didn't have someone to watch my kids. When I went the other time, I got there like four or five hours before happy hour technically started. So that way my cart was pretty much full I could just get in line to check out at that point. So I am making an exception for that. I might try the bins. Now that I have moved to Georgia and I'm doing this full time, there is not a bins in my area. That's not to say there isn't one in Georgia. There's just not one close to me. The closest bins is either in Chattanooga, Tennessee or Columbus, Georgia. And both of those are like two hours away. I'm really all over the place in this video. I swear I'm gonna get my, you know what together. Inventory. Let's get back there. So when I unpack my inventory, I bought a big Ikea cube system. That's where I'm going to start and see what I can fit in there and in the closet. I might buy a few more cubes for the closet. I'm going to show you guys like the walls that I'm doing this with. When I unpack my inventory, I'm going to organize it. I'm going to go back through my old listings and I'm going to reconfigure them. 
that means that there are some listings that really need some help. I have only just started including measurements in my listings. I do think it helps things sell more quickly. Having been doing it for the last month, I've noticed that the pieces I'm listing are flipping a lot more quickly. So I'm going to start adding measurements to the things as I unpack them and put them away in my new storage. Uh, I'm going to go back through and tweak my keywords and tweak my listing titles and tweak the listings themselves because some of them just say like size, small, um, there's no keywords, there's no SEO optimization. That was kind of redundant because SEO stands for search engine optimization. You get the point. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know when I'm gonna start this, but I swear to you, I'm going to start using a cross-listing service and get on something besides Poshmark by the end of May. Hold me to this. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be Mercari, Depop, eBay. They all kind of scare me because of shipping. Um, now I've been toying with the idea, even though I would have to charge more for shipping, it doesn't scare me as much to try to just use flat rate shipping. My thing is that I, you see my clothing on the racks behind me. I don't store them all in the boxes that they're going to ship in. So I don't want to have to weigh each individual item. If I know a flat rate, if it fits, it ships and put that out there for the buyer. I might not make as many sales on these platforms, but I'll make more than I'm making not being on them at all. And I can take the baby step until I feel more ready to start doing that measuring and weighing and everything like that. I also just need to get a better handle on my new home. My office is a disaster and that extends to other parts of the house as well. My kids have a playroom here when they didn't have one before. The playroom is pretty much just those black and yellow totes that you buy at Costco. We have to just open them up um, and make a mess every time. I'd like to find something that feels more finished to put it all together. I love having my pantry organized. That might sound a little silly, but it's really soothing to me to have things organized. Um, I wanna get that done this month. I also want to either create a spreadsheet or find a spreadsheet to do better at tracking my actual business-related expenses. Oh need to get a business bank account. Um, there's a lot of nuance to the business that now that I'm treating it, how many times can I say business in this video? Oh my gosh. Um, but now that I'm treating it more like a business instead of like a hobby uh, that I do very much in my spare time, these are things that I need to do so that next year come tax season, I am more prepared. I've already made more the past like two months that I've been treating this as more of a job uh, than I made in like four to five months combined. So I am gonna have to figure out the tax side of things a bit more. And, and there's the fact that I do this with my mom um, and we obviously don't jointly file because we're not married. <laughs> um, so I have to figure out that nuance to it as well. Um, I don't know the specifics. I'm thinking about making a business bank account that pays each of us individually or starting an LLC together. We have a lot to figure out in that respect. Um, and this is the month that I wanna really devote the time to researching that so that I can set up the systems when I'm not constantly needing to go out sourcing, that time can go into these other matters. And because I'm trying to keep my costs down this month with not sourcing, um, that money is going to go into a cross-listing service. Um, it might be Vendu, it might be Flip. I already use Flip for sharing, um, so I could really keep costs down that way, but I don't know anything about how they function as a cross-lister. I think I tried to use them once before. It took my line breaks out uh, and made my listings look really sloppy. And so I kind of just said, we're not doing this. As far as I think I mentioned, I have a lot of shoes, a lot of purses. If I have time with all this other stuff that I want to do first, I want to build like a Dollar Tree light box to photograph different accessories. I don't source them all that often, but I get them often enough that I'd like to have a better setup than just like a corner on a table to make them look more attractive. I think that's it. I think I covered everything that I'm hoping to accomplish this month in this video. Um, I hope to report back at the end of the month with some numbers for you guys that are really positive that you know, basically putting in this time and effort to enhance my listings and 
put work into the products that I have rather than the adrenaline rush that I get from thrifting really makes it worth it. So stick around to the end of the month and I will have some data for you, hopefully. Uh, I'll still be making videos in addition to the hauls that I've already filmed. Um, I hope to have some content for you guys. Like I like doing the stuff of uh, the stuff that I thrifted for myself, my sales numbers. I also just, I like clothes. So I think I might try to do like one or two of those like Pinterest, like creating outfits from my own closet or my Poshmark closet uh, that I found on Pinterest and trying not to buy anything and do those kinds of things. If you haven't watched any of those videos, they are so fun and I highly recommend seeking them out because they are a blast. Uh, so I might try some of those. It's not really my wheelhouse, but I kind of started this YouTube with just thinking, I like clothes, I like reseller content, I like thrifted fashion, and I'm gonna try to see what we can do in that space. So I hope some of this made sense to you. It was not a totally organized video, kind of just a mishmash of my thoughts and what I hope to get accomplished this month. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys stick around. Um, like I said, I'm trying to take this uh, former hobby and make it more of a full-time job now that my kids have started in daycare. And I hope that you want to follow along with me. Uh, if you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this. It really helps me out and it helps YouTube know that you want to see more from me. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.